What's up everyone, it's Kink, and when I started playing Magic, Commander decks released only once a year, so by default, they were good. Now, we have Commander decks with every standard set and them some. With so many releases, it makes sense that they would get watered down over time. So this begs the question, which ones are good? The PTWs are taking select releases of Commander decks, pitting them against each other, and slowly upgrading them based on performance with the goal of finding out which deck has the most potential. In short, we're going to pimp these precons. This season, the PTWs chose the Lord of the Rings Commander decks, and the rules were as follows. Card changes. After game one, players may change five cards. After each game, players may change three cards. First place replaces only two. Fourth place replaces four. Card changes are cumulative. Replacement cards can be changed again. After game one, eight cards total. After game two, 11 cards total, etc. If you add a card to the deck and it doesn't perform as desired, it may be changed out for another card. Card changes should not exceed the total changes acquired. Upgrades should adhere to pre-con theme. Upgrades should enhance the deck's theme instead of tech disruption. AB combos allowed. Fast mana not allowed except for Soul Ring. Pulling into the shop today, we've got Pod 2 consisting of PTW Dusk, Heather, PTW Vinyl, and Ace Dis Attorney. Start a match three for the late night crew. At noon. <laughs> Uh, Special daytime edition. <laughs> the morning cruise time slot, apparently. Um, well, they played at night, I think, so. Oh my god, it's all backwards! <laughs> Everything we know is a lie. Everything we know is a freaking lie. Alright, we're going to play in the Wild Wild, we're going to tap it and get rid of it. We're going to get a swamp and fast turn. Okay. Draw. Play a Path of Ancestry tapped in pass. Okay. Uh, oh my god. I hate everything. Um, draw. We'll play a forest. Don't forget me. Land for turn. Let's tap that forest. <clears throat> for an don't you do it. Oh, okay. It's just an Elvish Mystic, guys. Don't worry. The spicy turn one elf plays. Pass. I'm pretty sure I have a swamp in here. I'm going to play... An exotic orchard because your path of ancestry taps for white. I'm gonna tap it for white and play weathered wayfarer and pass. Weathered wayfarer, what that do? Uh, I can uh, pay what? white and tap it to search my library for a, a land card, reveal it, put it into my hand, then shuffle. But she can only do it if, the, if someone has more lands than her, which is really convenient since she's the last player. Yep. Interesting. Like the one time, it's like the one time going last really pays off is when you have Weather Wayfarer at the board. Because <laughs> then you get to ramp every single turn, pretty much. Well, it's not I... ramp. You just guarantee you have a land. Yeah. But it yeah, does yeah, cost you one for, white. Sure. So. But it also tutors for a land, not a basic land. Correct. A land. Untap. Draw. Let's turn the pay off. Nice. I'm going to play the mountains. Let's get this Nemesis game rolling strong to start. Gotta tap a swamp and a mountain. We're gonna use that. Play Orchid Bowmasters. Ooh! Oh no! And I will pass my turn. Oh god. Turn I'll two Bowmasters? I'll be the bastard. Okay, well, I mean, I guess you just ping us for life. Alright. Untap. Draw. Bowmaster. Does Bowmaster trigger off every draw or just not the first? Every draw beyond the first. Okay. I'll play my own exotic orchard. And then I'm going to tap for a green and a black to cast Pippin! 
And I will scry one because of the path of ancestry. Ex two exotic orchards is funny with path of ancestry because that we'll means that to the bottom. <laughs> you basically just get to draw whatever you want because true, or you get to cast whatever you want. Faster. Untap and draw. We're gonna play forest as land for turn. We're gonna tap three for a commander sphere. And then we'll tap one for an Arbor Elf. All right, pass. But fortunately for you, I'll have a Treasure Nabber and steal that from you for a turn. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to be the person that taps my Exotic Orchard for white and taps Wayfair and is going to go get a land. Um, now I am going to play that land, and it is going to be a Triumph. And, but go ahead and go ace this, because I'm not going to have anything else to do. Alright, untap. Draw. Play. <laughs> Slow for fall, for land for turn, it comes to untap because I control a mountain. I will tap it for a blue. And play consider. Consider the following. No, I do not need Wake the Dragon right this second, so that'll go to the graveyard. And then we'll draw a card. Doesn't help as much as I would like, but that's fine. And let's swing at Heather for one. I will take one. I know, I'll pass turn. Alright, untap. Draw. I will play Ghost Quarter as land for turn. And then I will tap three for a Cultivate. And I'll go get a Plains and a Force. On sure is. Man, you really just want my uh, my little weathered wayfarer to be useful for longer, right? I just said. Well, well, you're going last anyway, so I know. it doesn't matter. <laughs> also, Aces can just ping it as soon as someone draws an extra card. I know. So it's, it's not long for this world. Yeah, I think the elves <laughs> might be a better target. No, 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 no. Alright. If somebody draws a couple, then I can really start some work. You could theoretically ping your own Bowmaster. You know, I could. I don't see a world wherein I would, but that is an option, I do confess. I'm going to attack Ace just for two. Damn. And then I'll pass turn. Untap. I'm really not happy about that Bowmaster right now. Uh, That's nothing for you to worry about. I mean, it's everything for me to worry about because literally my entire deck is full of one ones. Um, well, so... I mean, if you if you draw me some cards and help me out, I could say that you're not my immediate priority. Ah, yeah. I could leave your creatures alive. I mean, I'm very, I'm very good at doing that, giving cards to other people. Um, let's see. It, is Bowmasters going to be the new Don't Feed the Fish? Yeah. So nobody draw a card. <laughs> or just draw some targeted removal. Like, that's also an option. Um, we're going to go one, uh, tap this for two, cast an arcane signet, I'll tap this and untap my forest. Uh, um, and then... <gasps> Is it Galadriel time? No, because then you guys are going to make me draw cards and kill my shit. So, um, no. I'm the one who makes that. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, then, true, I, group just, after. then I just let you guys all choose whether <laughs> I get to draw a card or not and whether one of my things dies, and you're obviously going to do that. So, Well, if it makes you yeah. feel better, Bowmasters is only I'm an Aces' deck. I'm not letting you draw cards. Bowmasters is only Aces' deck. I didn't put it in mine. It's against my flavor. Orcs fine. don't taste good. You don't know that. Um, you don't know that. That's true. I'm sure halflings would know that. How many halflings have tried? And we'll go four for Caliborn the Wise. Um, and then I'll pass. Okay. I'll untap, upkeep, and draw. Oh, I gotta untap all of them. And then yep. I'll go ahead and two. pay two for an Arcane Signet. And I'm going to tap it and tap Wayfair and go grab a land. 
Um, I'm going to reveal Fairy Calm Snarl and play it. It comes in tapped because I'm not going to reveal anything for my hand and I'll pass. Welcome to draw. Let's play a swamp. So let's tap red and blue and two for the summons of Saruman. I will amass two and mill two. I will send a relic of Saruman to the graveyard. Fantastic. That's Nothing I needed. And well, one ring to pull them all. Well, that was far less productive than I hoped. But you I get, will take it. It works, though. So that relic of Sauron's a cool card. I've never seen that. Two men of rock. Yeah. And a draw engine? That's neat. Was that your turn, Aestis? Uh, yeah. Let me turn. I'll pass. Alright, one tap. Draw. Ooh. Play a Plains of Land for turn. I uh, uh, will tap for three using Path of Ancestry and I'll cast Mary, Warden of Isengard. And I'll scry. We're gonna put this to the bottom. And then I will. Hmm. I'm going to pay two for a Prosperous Innkeeper. When it enters, I'll create a treasure token, and when that happens, I will get a 1-1 one, one Soldier. And I'll gain a life from the Soldier entering. And then I'll be passing after that. Okay. All right. We're just going to do this. I don't want to do this yet, but we're doing it now. We're going three... For one of my newer cards from the last sun, Marwin the Nurturer. Oh boy. Oh. And then we're gonna go one, two, three. Oh shit, I did my math wrong. I'm so bad at math. Alright, never mind. I can read, I promise. Guess we're here now. So play a Paradise Druid and pass. Well, Marwin gets a counter at least. Yeah. At so, least she's a little shield. Shielded. Untap. Upkeep. And draw. So what's the one basic in your hand, Heather, that you haven't played that you're going to stare at the, for the rest of the game? I actually don't have a basic in my hand. What? You really needed that Wayfarer then. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a one land hand? One land keep? Maybe. Oh I'm my god. One land keep. No, I... Oh my god. No, I, <laughs> okay, I wouldn't have one else, land keep. But, but like, I, I figured... I might as well just, like, milk it for what it's doing me, you know? Yeah, milk that horse. I will, until Aestus pings it. <laughs> yeah, y'all are assuming Malfeasance upon me that I haven't shown yet. Horse milk. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and uh, milk, horse milk that horse. <laughs> milk that horse. Do you guys remember... Uh, uh, Isn't that just glue? Extreme home makeover. Oh, God. <laughs> Um, so back to the blue factory again. I'm going to reveal an evolving wilds, and I'm going to mm -hmm. tap it and sack it, and then go search my library for a basic. It's going to be a plane. And then I'm going to tap one, two, three, four, a a Gilrian Dunedain protector. I can pay two and tap to exile another target creature I control. I may return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. If you don't, at the beginning of the next end step, return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control with a vigilance counter and a lifelink counter. Mm. And then I pass. Alright. Well, that is one way to get your human triggers. Yeah. Rogue's passage for land for turn. Let's add one, two, three, four, five. And I will flash back the summons of Saruman. Fair enough. I will exile all five cards in my graveyard in order to mill five and a mass five. Two, three, four, 
five. We have an Orcs of Seven. No Mill. Blasphemous Act. Shit. Woo! Coming death. Shit. Woo! Gracious Fell Beast. Assault Monolith. And a Notion of Thief. Well, <laughs> great. This is Simon Levels of Whiff. Wait, what were you what were you looking for? An instant or sorcery that oh, cost five no. or less. Oh. No, it's not an instant or sorcery. I'm just milling the top X cards, but what? I need my big creature cards in my graveyard so I can pull them out of my graveyard and put them onto the board for less than their stupid mana costs. But I'm not getting any value out of my mill right now. Well, Summons of Saruman says you may cast an instant or sorcery spell with mana value X or less from among them without paying its mana cost. Right, which sure. you st struck out anyway. Yeah, but yeah, that you were looking for. Yeah. Well, actually, I could cast Living Death if I really felt like it. You could. It would benefit me none whatsoever, but I could do it. I mean, getting that Notion Thief out would be kind of gross, right? I would be trading a Notion Thief for an Orcish Bowmasters. Because then not only, because you have your orc yeah, or Notion Thief plus Orcish Bowmasters means that none of us get to draw and you get to ping. Yeah, but Living Death means that Orcish Bowmasters goes to the graveyard. Oh, yeah. And okay. so do your orcs. And yeah, so, do right. my, so do my seven orcs. Oh, is that but, the one that wipes the board and then brings everything back yeah. from... Um, yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay. Cool. But nothing has died yet. Correct. And the board is starting to get a little bit... If, okay. You you gotta, I, I mean, you, I it's not, but... If I were you, I wouldn't do it, for the record. I think you're in the best board state. Because as soon as any of us start drawing, which inevitably we will... You're just gonna ping us all down. You're gonna ping all of our creatures down. You're in definitely the best board state. Yeah, that's true. And it would it would take five card or four card draws wipes every all but two creatures from my board. Oh wait a minute. I don't even have to Three do card that. Draws, actually. There there are there are other ways to achieve the result that I'm looking for. Okay, fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I need a blocker, so I'll pass turn. On your end step, I'm going to crack my treasure and activate Pippin to make a food. And get a soldier. Sure do. And I'll gain a life. Mmm, yummy. Then I'll untap and drop. Very cool. Very cool. I'll play this Swamp as Land for turn. I will tap four. And one from the Path of Ancestry to cast Creebeard, Gracious Host. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, create two foods. I will create a tapped or a summoning sick homie. And two foods. And gain a life. And gain two life. And yeah. whenever. What? Isn't it just for creatures entering? Yeah. Oh, that's right. So I gain one. Entered I gain two. one. Entered two. Yep, yep, yep. Sorry. So I will then put two counters on a halfling or tree folk. Uh, I'm going to put two on tree beard. I'll be right back. Or, no worry. And let's go to combat. Mm, no, I'm not going to. I'm going to pass. Did you say you're passing? Sure, I am. All right. Untap me and my two lands and draw. Jesus Christ. So we're going to go one, two, three. Actually, we're going to go one, two, three, four. Um, and cast Galadriel. Doink. I did it. And then. We'll go, actually, here, we'll do this. Oh, I do have to tap her, damn, all right. So we'll go one, two, or one, two, three, uh, four. I'm gonna cast an Elvish Promenade. 
Put a 1 1 green elf warrior creature token into play for each elf I control. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Marwin gets 6 counters. Uh, um, and then. Uh, I think that's all the triggers off that. Um, now we can move to combat and we get to vote at the beginning of combat. I'm going to choose Dominion. I'm going to choose the Dominion. Mm -hmm. I choose Guidance. I often choose Guidance. Uh, Okay, so I'll draw a card, I guess. Oh god, Bowmasters is gonna bow! Bowmaster, bow! What, which of my druids, which of my elves are you killing? Well, I remember enticing you earlier to draw under the condition that I would not immediately prioritize your targets. And for the moment, I will live up to that. Uh, I'm sorry, that's... I don't agree with that, but... Continue on. I feel like a, a attempted deal four turns ago, three turns does, ago, two does turns not ago, count as a deal. Does not count as a deal. Yeah, but nothing was made. To, I wanted to continue the draw. So, I mean, if anything, you should have made a deal. With, we could have made a deal together because I thought you were going to kill an elf, or else I would have picked Dominion. None of that conversation happened. Sounds like that All conversation right. should have happened. Pick your, pick your target. I'll just pink that for one. All that. Which one did he kill? He, he picked Nothing. Daff for one. Uh, just to a face? Yeah. Okay. Okay, but like Addie was in such a good spot that she had like her makeup going and it was beautiful. And... Those bowmasters pretty much just shot like one little makeup remover at the corner of her eye. <laughs> so like, I don't really feel sad for Addy. Hey, it's okay. I messed up on that wing, so it's like three inches Here's thick now. Well, everybody's got a little blockers. Heather, what's the creature that's up on your board right now? I have a weathered wayfair, and then the one that's up is a two-three. Okay. Um. Yeah, then I guess I'll go ahead and swing my uh, Celeborn the Wise at you um, for three. And when I do, I'll scry one. And when I scry one, he becomes a 4-4 four, four until end of turn. I take four. I'll leave that on. Uh, no, I'll put that on the bottom, actually. And then, uh, nothing in second main, and I'll pass. All right, I'll untap. Upkeep draw. <laughs> Here's the ring. I need to cast a card. I'm going to... Tap an exotic orchard into my Wayfair and go grab a land. And I'm going to get a Windbrisk Kites. It goes to my hand. I'm going to play a Training Center. And then I'm going to tap one, two, three, four, five for Vanquisher's Banner. Rut row. And I'm going to say humans, and I'm going to pass. Uh, on your insta, I'm going to ghost quarter uh, Rogue's Passage. You're so, uh, Ace, just uh, swap out your Rogue's Passage with a basic land. Ooh. I'm destroying Rogue's Passage. All right, I got your number. Inconvenience me, will you? I'll fucking show you. But look, you got a basic land base, sis. Instead of tapping for colorless, you can now tap for colored. Yeah, I'm not gonna pretend like <laughs> the cost was especially convenient at this point anyway. 
I'm gonna have to get I got two black Pepsi. Let's get a let's get a blue pit. That's fine. All right. Cut. There. My turn. Yep. All right, then. Pat. Draw. Let's have two black and a red. Now you have to play a victimize. I will sacrifice my horses. And then we use that to pull a voracious fell beast and a notion thief to the board. Hmm. When Voracious Fell Beast enters the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices a creature. And then make a food token for each creature sacrificed in this way. Bye, Elf Warrior. Okay, I'll sacrifice a dude. Boo! Why am I the only one who has to make a choice? Well, I know the two of you would be terribly inconvenienced. Hmm. That does present quite the conundrum. I think it has to be my Wayfarer. You got good value out of it. Yeah, it did work. Yeah, it did a lot of work. Notice I am still sitting here with two lands. And that's all that I've got for the moment. I know Orcish Blood Master sure as shit isn't going to attack, so I will pass turn. Okay, on your instep, I'm going to tap one, and I'm going to activate Pippin to make a dude and make a food. Food and dude. And Prosperous Innkeeper will get a counter for gaining the life. Yep. All right. And I'll untap. And draw. Ooh. I'll play a Murmuring Bosk tapped. Um, yeah. Kind of, kind of a bad card, but whatever. Oh, let's see. Which one is a bad card? Oh, this one. Because like, I took out like two out of the like three tree folk in here. Well, it sounds like you know which card to remove next. Sure do. <laughs> it's a trap. Trap card. Well, I mean, these precons are really cool, but they do come with mechanics supporting both the commanders. Yeah. Yeah. So it does make our job a little bit easier. Like, I know if I was building Aragorn, this deck would be completely different. I will pay two for an Idol of Oblivion. Nice. It's a good card. It is. Then, uh, let's see. <laughs> sure, this is funny. Um, I will pay two to cast Revive the Shire. Return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Create a food token. I'm going to get Ghost Quarter back to my hand. <laughs> and I'll make a food. Wow. So I get a dude. And gain a life. And put a counter down. Yes. And I'll put the counter. Put it on Pippin. Might as well. I'll pass turn. Untap. <laughs> Untap. Yeah. Fine. And draw. Um, okay. Oh, oh wait. Ah, it's a non bow. Orcish Bowmasters isn't going to trigger. Yeah, Orcish Bowmasters yeah. won't ever trigger anymore. Well, was it an opponent mean, or did it win anybody? It's when an opponent. opponent. Okay. Then, yeah. I that, mean, it is a bit redundant, but I will take one effect over the other. And if one dies, I still keep the other. Okay. Hinterland Harbor is land for turn. So we're going to go, I'm going to tap nine. <laughs> Just a casual nine. And cast um, Haldir, Lorien Lieutenant, for X equals eight. Marwan will get a counter. Um, he enters the battlefield with X counters on him, so he'll get eight. One one counters on him, and I can pay six, and until the end of turn, other elves I control gain vigilance and get plus one, plus one for each one one counter on Haldir. Mm -hmm. Ooh, gross! Mm -hmm. How do you spell that again? How? H A L D I R. Cool. Okay. Very cool. 
Yeah. And then I think I'll go ahead and move to combat. All right. Um. Oh no. At the beginning of you combat, you have it, don't turn, you? Huh? Maybe. Huh. At the beginning of combat on my turn, um, I am going to choose Dominion. Okay. I'm going to choose Dominion. Oh, wait. No, I'm going to choose Guidance. I you got to have an draw card? Yeah, yeah at this because... point. All right. Well, regardless, Aces, what are you picking? I pick Guidance. I pick Guidance. Okay. So Aces draws a card. Cool. Hooray! We're going to, in response to that trigger, I'm going to tap one, two, three, four, five... Uh, six, and activate Haldir. Uh, all of my creatures, all of my elves get plus eight, plus eight until uh, in vigilance, um, until end of turn. Let's see, we'll go Hellborn at at Daff. We'll do the Arbor Elf at Aestis. Um, we'll do Galadriel at Daff. We'll do Paradise Druid at Heather. I'll send an Elf Warrior at each of you, and the other two Elf Warriors at Daff. So I have five coming at me. Uh, yeah. So you have Galad. You have a twelve thirteen Galadriel, two nine nine Elf Warriors. Yeah. Um, and, uh, one of these one ones. So one of these nine nines. Okay. Um, so. Jack, stop that. Yeah. And then Aestis has, uh, um, Aestis one has. Thing and the, another thing. Yeah, you have, uh, Caliborn, who is going to be a 4-4. Four, four. Um, so he's actually going to be a 12-12. Twelve, twelve. And then, um,. <laughs> Uh, and then this, uh, this guy's coming at you also for a 9-9. And then Heather's got a 10-9 coming at her. And one elf. So, and, so a 10-9 and a 9-9 coming at Heather. Okay. So... I declare no blockers. Aces? I will block the 12 with the voracious fell beast. Okay. Um... And I guess... In response or whatever, I'm gonna create food and make another dude, and then I'll block all five with my five dudes. Okie dokie. So one here, and then damage. Uh, there's no trample on any of those, so yeah. you won't take any damage. Um, Heather will take nineteen. Nineteen, and Aestus will take uh, nine. Nine. And I'll gain five. Okay. So. How are you gaining? What What's gaining you life? They have lifelink. Oh, they have lifelink. That's right. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> okay. Whew. Big turn. Oh, and these guys all have vigilance, so none of them are tapped. Which is cool. Well, except for your. Uh, this, one, this one's tapped. This one's not. Yeah. And Marwin's tapped. Gladrill is not. Cool. And then, with that, I'll pass turn. Okay, so, Aestis, do you have a plan to clear the board? Can you clear the board? Clear the board? No. I can get rid of the most problematic thing on the board, but I don't have a board wipe at the moment. I mean, that'd be Haldir, but... Yeah. That's Haldir, by far. I can get rid of Haldir. Okay. Well, yeah, I can get rid of it. Um, okay. That would require you guys to agree to leave my stuff alone, if that's cool. Sure, I'll keep leaving it alone. Because I don't I think mean, I'm your be, problem. To be fair, you are not the thing that I'm most worried about right this second. To the be elf ball, the elf ball and yo. I'll keep ignoring you until it becomes relevant. Okay. So, I will untap. Upkeep draw. I'm gonna play a planes. 
I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five for my commander. And then I'm going to pass. Well, Ace just draws a card. That needs to draw a card. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. And then I'm going to pass. Um, my plan is to use this to flicker away Haldir, which will make Haldir come back in with no counters. Ooh, I like that. That's not a sorcery speed thing, is it? Um, no. It's not? Cool. That's why I'm waiting. Well, it saves me from having uh, a that. It... Exile another target creature you control. Oh, I control? Okay, then I can't do shit with it. All right. <laughs> it's up to me, then. Sure is. Now I'm carrying the game. Well, thanks for reading the card for me, because uh, apparently I can't. It's okay. It happens to everybody. I just want to say I think it's weird that Galadriel's the only commander in the precons that really cares about the ring tempting you. I guess Frodo kind of does too, but it's weird. It is a bit odd. I mean... It's a weird Sauron mechanic. The dark, Sauron the Dark Lord does care, but it feels like it, you have to put a lot of that mechanic into the deck in order for well, that to pay off ring, properly. He doesn't have any way to make the ring tempt him, though. That's what I mean. Like, he, he just cares about when the he cares about. Well, no, he, he absolutely he does. does. If an army... I control deals combat damage to a player of the ring tips you. God, he has so much text. He does. He does a lot of stuff. <laughs> and then whenever the ring tips him, he can yeah. he can wheel his hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's got Ward Sacrifice, a legendary artifactor creature. I mean, like he's got he's got so many keywords. Like Soup. Alright, well let's do the obvious thing first. Um Bye bye, Haldir. You did good. Let's tap a mountain, a smoldering marsh, and I will play Feed the Swarm to destroy a deer because that's got to happen. It's a good good uh, permanent to feed the swarm on, because he's only one mana value. Yeah, well, I can do three, four, five. I can do one or the other. I cannot do both. You probably should have just killed someone with all your power that you had. I was trying to get the board down a little bit so I could do that and then I get what you're going for no I, I get it too like I'm more worried about I'm more worried about taking one person out and then getting cracked back on by everybody else okay five to play the witch king of Angmar um that's all that I'm going to do this turn so I'll pass all right I will untap Oh, it's still three. I will draw. I'm going to play this ghost quarter. Three, five, six, seven. I will tap seven for five into the X for Farmer Cotton. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, create five, one, one white halfling creature tokens and five foods. And I get a soldier boy. And five life. We'll put uh, two counters on Farmer Cotton, and then we'll do three on Treebeard. So it's very cool, and I get a scry. Um, we're going to leave that on top. All right. Then I'm going to activate Pippin, and I'm going to sacrifice four, four foods to give my whole team plus three, plus three, and haste. So, Treebeard, we're going to go to combat. We're going to go to combat. So let's see which king is that big. Okay. And don't worry, Heather, nothing's coming to you. In case you were stressing. I'm always stressing. Uh, <laughs> that's fair. All right. Let's see this. What's your biggest final? Uh, the... Three, three. Or four, okay. five. Sorry, glad girls are four, five. Okay. Um, all right. This it. These two are Aestus's gang, and 
and the rest is coming at vinyl. How much? Uh, one sec. So you have five four fours, and then you have a bot. Yeah. What the? they become four fours? I sacrificed four foods oh, right. to Pippin's ability. Um, and Treebeard is a 16-21 with Trample. Ooh. And Farmer Cotton is a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, let me do some math. And Asus, you have a 4-7 four, four, and a 7-7. Seven, seven. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So, I either block with my board or I die. Very good. Alright, um... They don't all have trample, right? No, just tree beard. Okay. Then I will... And the, the, the small ones are four fours? Yes. Okay. I'm blocking one of those with Galadriel. Um... I'll block um, the farmer with um, one of my elves. What? And then um, I will take the rest. So I'll be down to 10, I think, or 8. Okay. Um, would you rather my life linker die or. Yeah, the life linker die. Cool. Um. I go down to eight. Cool. Ace just blocks. So let's just for best practices. I'll block with the Orcish Bell Masters and the Witch King of Angmar. When the Witch King of Angmar is assigned damage, I will sacrifice I will discard a Sauron, the Lord of the Rings, from my hand. And he will tap and gain indestructible to end a turn. Thick, pass turn. Untap, draw. The ring will and, also. Turn and your bow masters die. Get that shit out of here. Forest is <laughs> land for turn. Calm down, you. <laughs> you have notion thief in play. And then we're gonna go five for an overwhelming stampede. Okay. Yeah. Everything's gonna get plus ten, plus ten until end of turn and uh, trample. All right. Well, I guess that's game then. Um, I don't know. Maybe. No, it is game. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't have enough creatures to kill you all. Yeah. Okay. How many creatures do you have? One, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's almost. Uh, I mean, that's not enough. Yeah. Marwin does twenty to someone. Yes. 21. Well, it's to you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to move to combat. So I will swing Marwin and um, uh, my Paradise Druid at Heather. I will swing, I'll swing the four elves and Caliborn and the Arbor Elf at Daff. And then the Elvish Mystic. Yeah. So these are going at Daff. And then um, these are going at Aestis. So yes, I do not have enough power to kill everybody, but I can take out two. You swung six creatures at me, right? Yes. Cool. I perish. Like, and what, 20 is going at Aestis, right? Yep, yeah, I have nine hit 20, points left. It's uh, uh, 14 plus 11 is 25. 25 so at four. Okay. Um, I'm at four. The ring will tempt me again, and you will sacrifice both of those creatures. Okay. Don't need them anyway. Okay, well, let's see if I can pull this shit can out of the fire. Um, I think he just gave you the game, so you're good to just... I mean... Well, no. Actually, no. Literally, he did. All I have to do is attack with the Witch King and Lucian. Yeah. That's what I, what I well, said. I'm just surprised no. you attacked him at all. No, this is a power play. It's so Asus gets to swap in one less card because he won again. So then the rest of us get mm. the same amount. What do you mean again? This will be the first game I've won. If I hadn't attacked nope. him, I still would have died to the flying creature. 
And yeah. I only had two blockers. I, again, I <laughs> ace this lose your life. Uh, I still would have died no matter what I did. So, Addy, so who loses between the two of us? Do we roll I, for it? I would say you lost harder because I was doing things and you were weather wayfaring every turn. So, <laughs> we're going to have you. <laughs> Unless you really want to roll off to get one more card. I mean, it doesn't matter. If, if you say I'm the loser, I'll take it. No, there's no point in belaboring any of this. Um... Witch King of Angmar has five. Notion King has th- Notion Thief has three. It's a total of eight. GG. Thank you. See, this... look how easy that was. Like this video and subscribe to the PTW YouTube channel to see more content and find out when our new videos release. Follow the PTW Twitch channel and subscribe for ad-free viewing. Don't forget to follow that Facebook and that Twitter to keep up with all the good news. <laughs>